Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello. I'm the Cyber Rave Guru. Thank you for watching. So this is Fusion 360 tip number two. Uh, I recently ran into the situation where I needed to remove a lot of material from a pocket and I wanted to use an eighth inch end mill, flat end mill. And the eighth inch bit really couldn't get into all the, the nooks and crevices of the, the area that I needed to pocket. So I decided to use a 16th inch bit, uh, but that more than doubled the amount of time it would take to pocket the, the area. So what I decided to do was actually do an outline or a profile of the what I was pocketing with the 16th inch bit, which got into all the little areas that the eighth inch bit couldn't get, and then switch into an eighth inch bit to uh, remove the bulk of the material. So let's switch over to Fusion and show you how I did that. Okay, so here I am in Fusion. You can see that I have the pocket set up. Uh, I have it highlighted here to show you guys what I need to do is remove the material between the inner, uh, the outer star here and the inner star. And I'm going to simulate this real quick and show you exactly what's going on. Click on the top, turn the stock on. I want to leave it transparent and I'm going to jump to the end just to show you what's going on. I'm going to zoom in and you can see here it's very uh, subtle, but the, the light green here, if you want to look at it that way, does not go all the way to where the edge of the actual profile is. So if I were to actually route this out, all this extra material would be in there. And now look, it's not a ton of material, but it's just enough to really uh, kind of wreak havoc with the inlay that I plan on doing here. Uh, so I'm going to show you a real trick, uh, trick real quick. Okay, so what we want to do is we actually want to first start with an outline of the actual profile with a smaller uh, end mill. In this case, I'm using a, a 0.625, which is 16th inch end mill, and then I'm gonna do follow it up with that pocket that I showed you earlier. So when I, let's go ahead and simulate this. I'm gonna show you with the stock and transparent uh, turned on. You can see here that uh, there's no uh, extra material there. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit. You can see that's that uh, material is getting taken away very, very cleanly. And then I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to actually select both of them and show you here how when I turn the stock on. Now before, uh, with just that pocket, you had a little extra material in there. In this case, uh, you don't. Uh, so that material is all removed by that smaller bit. So this is a technique you can use to switch your bits in mid-flight. Um, or run one tool path, switch your bit, and then run another one to get a desired effect without using too much ma machine time. Okay, I hope you like that trick. You know, the combination of the smaller bit and the big bit, the smaller bit to make the profile or the outline and the, and the larger bit to do the mass rem removal of the material is really a great combination. One thing I would recommend when you're doing the pocketing, I would do a little uh, leave behind in Fusion is what it's called or a set off um, so that uh, the, the larger bit isn't cutting right up to the edge of where the profile was for the smaller bit. That just makes things a little bit more clean. Uh, and just remember the, the diameter of the bit is the, is the width that you have to play with for the, the, for the set aside. Uh, what I would recommend is actually doing about 50% of that. So if you're doing a leave behind, uh, in this case, it would be, you know, for a, a point uh, 0625 bit would be, you know, 0.03125 would what I would use for a leave behind. I actually, I think I used maybe 0.01 uh, just to give me a little bit more play there. But uh, you kind of get the picture. So, hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you don't like the video, give it a thumbs up anyway. Any questions or comments on this, leave them down below. And please don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell to be notified for new content. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night.